for, and against essays are written, to present both sides of a topic. In these types of essays you have to point out advantages and disadvantages. You also need to be objective. This means, that you have to present both, for, and, against arguments equally. This type of essay is divided into three parts, the introduction, the main body and the conclusion. In this part you draw the reader's attention by introducing the topic. Be very clear and use formal language. Do not give your own opinion in this introductory part. There are some techniques that you can use to grab the reader's attention. Those techniques are called, hooks. Let's see some of those hooks. Write the phrase of someone with worldwide impact to intrigue the reader. Let's suppose that your topic is education. You could start by saying, Mahatma Gandhi once said, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Quotes are striking, powerful, and memorable. For example imagine your topic is about bullying. You could start by stating a statistic or a fact about the topic. Research shows that one in two children suffer psychological or physical violence, World Health Organization. A fact or statistic like this, can impress your reader, right from the very beginning of your essay. An introduction may start with a question. For example, did you know that? Or, have you ever thought that? This type of hook, asks the reader directly, therefore drawing one's attention. You can always combine fact or statistics with the question hook. A relatively safe way to start your introduction would be with a definition from a dictionary. Assuming that your topic is about distance learning, using a definition about e-learning may be suitable. According to the Oxford Dictionary, e-learning is a system of learning that uses electronic media, typically over the internet. Note that some people find introductions which start with a definition, a bit unattractive. People love stories. Use a short story or an event relative to the topic to hook the reader. For example if your topic is about positive human behavior, a short story for your introduction could be like this. Once upon a time, while I was traveling to Ireland I came across a woman. She smiled at me and won my heart. Keep in mind that this type of hook is longer than other types of hook since you have to write a whole story. Don't overdo it though. Keep it as short as possible. If you can't use any of those hooks, don't worry. Not every essay has to start like a Tolkien's novel. Sometimes a general statement that pinpoints the main issue, can also grab the reader's attention. At this step, you have to present the two opposing views. Make sure that the opposing views are written in different paragraphs. In the first paragraph of the main body, present the arguments that stand for the topic. In the next paragraph present the arguments which stand against the topic. Note that you always have to justify every single argument, by using examples. Besides examples, it is also wise to state the result of the argument. To state the results, use phrases like, therefore, as a result, and consequently. Those phrases, portray the impact that an argument can have. In this final part, you have to summarize everything you have written before, limited in a single paragraph. Remember to mention both opposing views that were analyzed in the main body. Finalize the conclusion by stating what you believe. Now is the time to give your own opinion by saying why you find one side more convincing than the other. There are
are some tips that you should have in mind when you write, for, and against essays. Use linking words that connect a paragraph with the previous one. Do not use first-person pronouns such as, I, me, my, we, us, etc. Avoid addressing readers as, you. It is better to use third-person singular and plural. Avoid using arguments that you cannot support. Remember that you have to justify with examples. State your opinion only in the concluding paragraph. Finally, you should always use formal language. That's all by me. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. See you around.